Hi, my name is Danny Gonzalez. I'm here with David Terrain with Anritsu. And today we're going to show you how to perform fiber to the antenna, mobile front haul, and mobile back haul test applications using the Anritsu MT1000 Network Master Pro. The Enritsu OTDR family comes standard with the award-winning Fiber Visualizer OTDR Trace software application. Fiber Visualizer converts a traditional OTDR trace measurement into easy-to-follow icon-driven GUI display to enable field operations to identify pass-fail events quick and easy when installing and verifying optical fiber deployment. Color-coded pass-fail events are labeled by the type of event icon, distance to the event located on top with the amount of loss per event located on the bottom. So once you're finished performing the fiber end face cleansliness inspection, the next part is to perform the OTDR measurement on the fiber directly. You're going to be taking the fiber before connecting to the baseband unit, and you're going to be connecting it directly into the OTDR port of the Anritsu MT1000. There's a single mode port that you would connect directly for single mode fiber from here. What's good about the MT1000 is it has a built-in launch fiber already in the OTDR, meaning you do not require a launch fiber in order to perform the measurement. You would simply just take the fiber that's being run to the tower, connect it directly into the OTDR port, and the launch cable that's built into the OTDR will be used in order to perform the OTDR measurement. To select the OTDR application to perform optical fiber verification, starting from the main application screen, click on the OTDR application, the FTTA application is Fiber to the Antenna OTDR application, and OLTS is the Optical Loss Test Set application. Starting from the Port tab of the OTDR application, select the type of optical fiber under test. The test port to connect the optical fiber to will be highlighted in green on the bottom of the screen based on your selection. The first setting on the Measurement tab. Choose your desired test mode, Auto for Easy, Default Testing Mode, or Manual to define your test parameters. Next, select one or multiple optical wavelengths to test. The next tab is the IOR slash BSC tab, which is where you choose the type of fiber you're testing. The type of fiber will populate the Index of Refraction, or IOR, and Backscatter Coefficient Settings, or BSC. This is necessary to determine accurate distance to fault in the measurement. The third step is to configure your results report headers, including fiber ID, location details, and operator information. Insert the required report headers based on your company and work order procedures. This information will be printed on the PDF report. In the first preference tab, you can define the distance display units in meters, feet, miles, or kilometers. The connection check and active fiber check verifies fiber connectivity and usage prior to the OTDR measurement and can be disabled if desired. The second preference tab allows the user to define ORL calculation and if the user wants to display the internal launch fiber within the measurement. The launch fiber display can be disabled after the measurement if desired. Moving to the test window. Starting from the fiber tab, choose if a launch fiber is being used for the OTDR measurement and distance of launch fiber so it can be calculated out of the measurement. On the auto detect tab, the unit defines the event thresholds that will appear in the measurement. A user can define the thresholds if necessary to determine what qualifies as an event based on the threshold setting. Keep in mind this is not to determine pass-fail, only to determine what qualifies as an event detected in the OTDR measurement. The last step in setting up your OTDR measurements is to define what qualifies as a pass-fail event threshold in the pass-fail tab. Insert the fail threshold for each type of event or use the predefined thresholds. Failing events will appear in red during the OTDR measurement. Once your settings are complete, press the large green triangle in the top right hand corner of the screen to begin OTDR measurement of the optical fiber under test. The first test is the connection test followed by the OTDR measurement. You can switch between OTDR trace view and Enritsu's award winning fiber visualizer view of the same OTDR measurement. The fiber visualizer displays all of the events during the OTDR measurement. Events in blue are passing results, events in red are failing events based on the previously defined pass-fail thresholds. 
With each event displayed, the distance to event from the launch point is located above the event, and the amount of loss associated with the event is located below the event. In this example, a failed splice is one kilometer from the launch with a 0.248 decibel loss for the splice event. Once the measurement is complete, click the document icon on the right to save the report. Select any or all formats you require and include a company logo if desired. Click next to continue the report generation. Select all the information you want to include in the results report, including any fiber microscope images from the G0382A autofocus VIP you wish to attach. Click the generate and insert a file name to save the results on a USB memory stick or directly on the unit. You can view the report directly on the MT1000A in a built-in PDF viewer. To view the native .sor file format for post-processing, select the Save File icon in the right-hand toolbar. From the Save File window, insert a file name, select a folder location, and press the Save Results button. Thank you for watching the video. If you would like more information on any of the Enritsu products, including the Network Master Pro, please visit www.enritsu.com.